G'day and welcome to Duck Solar Gaming and a FS19 a mod review. Today we are reviewing the Australian Road Train Pack. Well, that's what I'm calling it from JFL Modding, and we'll have a look at that right after this. So these trailers from JFL Modding have just been released in the last 24 hours. And they are something we've been waiting for for a long period of time for FS19. We now have some truly awesome road train capable trailers for our rigs. And uh, the fact that they're Australian designed and built is even better. Now to go with this, he's also released, or they've also released, um, the appropriate uh, dollies, which we'll cover as well. And at the same time, or just blue leading up to the release of the trailers, they have released this wonderful T600 day cab Kenworth as well. So we're going to cover that as well. So we're going to be covering effectively three mods all together, which make up what I'm referring to as the Aussie road train pack. So let's get in and have a look at it. First thing we'll do is we'll have a look at the truck and, uh, and then get into that. So we're going to go into the store we're going to have a look at all the different configurations of what the buying options are. And then we're going to have a look at some of the different configurations, and how they actually look similar to what you're actually currently looking at right now. So in the menu, in, under trucks, if we scroll along, we'll find the Kenworth T600 day cab. Now, one point of note with the T600 day cab that I found, uh, I do think the center of mass is a little bit out. I did have to make some corrections. It tended to want to lift the front every time you sort of accelerated uh, when you had a trailer attached to it. So I have made some personal modifications to it. If you find the same problem and you want those modifications, let me know in the comments down below and I will link you to what I've actually done to the mod. Very minor changes. Okay, so this is the Kenworth T600 day cab. Okay, so the base cost is $2,300 uh, per operating hour, $2,415, $1,150 per day. So the base price of the unit is $115,000. Currently options selected are zero. So it's a 441 kilowatt, 600 horsepower, and 100 kilometers per hour is its top speed. Now it's a good looking model, lots of nice details on there. Um, so uh, congrats to JFL Modding for the detail. Now these guys, JFL Modding, if you've seen any of my videos previously, uh, the animal transport trailers, the cattle trailers uh, are from JFL, um, the flatbed trailers I use are from JFL. They do some fantastic mods and obviously they're all Australian orientated. So uh, it's all well and good for me. Okay, so options we have available for the truck. So we have the option for rim color, design color, and main color. Now that varies depending upon the color, the selections you have down below here as well. So for a bull bar, you have the color bumper as fitted. We also have the bumper oversize, which is in there like that. Has that nice chrome look. And then we have the bull bar, which is my preference for uh, for this rig so uh looks quite nice all right so we take off the big rhubarb then we have the bumper rt and the bull bar rt and then we're back to the color bumper so we have a number of choices for our bumper uh, or front fender color guards uh so we have color guards here for the rear wheels or we can have the chrome guards or we can go to open guards uh so a couple of nice choices there and the Design color will actually change the color of the guards there like that. All right, cabin config we'll get to in a second. The wheel setup. So we have standard wheels or we can go to the spider rims. Now this is one of the things that JFL have done in all their trucks and trailers uh, of allowing the uh, the spider rims. And I do love that detail. I think they look, they look fantastic. All right, now lastly, what we're gonna look at is the cabin config. So the stock cabin config means we can go in here, we can change our rim color um, when we're not using spider rims, that is. So the spider rims take, will take on the design color. The stock rims will take on the rim color. Okay, so if you want different rim colors to what you want a design color, so say we want blue rims and green mud guards, um, then you have to have the color guards selected and um, the standard rims. All right. So that's all well and good. Now the main color, so the main color we can select and no, I wouldn't pick a color this gaudy like this. Um, so you can do that and that gives you all those different colors you can do. So you can pick the color you like 
however you want to set up your truck, you can set it up um, and have it looking quite nice. Right, so that's the stock standard. Right, the black bonnet. So the black bonnet gives you just what it says, a black bonnet. Now it gives you all the same configurations. You can still go through and change all your main colors uh, and you just get the black bonnet, which is the, the subtle change to that. So it's the only change with that one. And lastly is a personal configuration item. So with the detail is it actually, if you go into the actual file, it actually has a uh, cab detail file, a DDS file that you can actually go and modify for yourself. Now I've actually modified it for, for Ducks All The Gaming. And so the Ducks Nuts, uh, so it has those graphics there. Now, unfortunately, when you do use that graphic detail, uh, it goes to the, the the stock white uh, unless you actually add it in your own colorization all that sort of stuff and you have the ability to do that um, but so for instance uh, that's what my ducks nuts would look like well that's what the truck ducks nuts would look like anyway all right so that's the Kenworth T600 now the engine sounds and that for this are awesome so what we're going to do is we're going to buy this one All right, so that's it. Lovely sounding engine. Uh, I think they call it Jake brake, don't they? Um, commonly. The sounds of this truck are truly wonderful. All right, so that's the T600 day cab. The link for that will be down below in the comments uh, to the JFL Facebook page, the same as all of the other items that are in this mod review. All right. Next, let's have a look at the dollies first. So there are two types of dollies. We have the Arends Tri Dolly and the Arends Duo Dolly in various configurations. So the Tri Dolly is just the three axle dolly and then the Duo is the two axle dolly, strangely enough. All right, now configuration wise, they're basically exactly the same for both units. So we're gonna go and have a look at the Tri Dolly in the shop and see what options we have available to us. All right, so that's it here. Beautiful looking model again. Now, what have we got as options available to us? So we have the main color, obviously. So we can go pick any of the standard colors and use that to our heart's content. Nice and easy, fantastic. Guards, we have the option of the plastic guards, similar to what we've had with the T600 and are certainly similar with the trailers, but we're gonna look at shortly. Uh, plastic, we can have the chrome, got that nice metallic chrome look. Or you can have the rubber, and I personally do like this look. I think this is great. So it's got the standard metal arches that come up through there, and then it's got the rubber covering through there. I do like those. I think they look fantastic. So obviously, if you change the color through there, nice look there. Look at that. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? All right. Then the signs. You have none or you have road train. So obviously, again, this being an Australian-type uh, item, um, you'll see the road train signage on it. So, and you can see the Western Australian license plate there. Uh, and this is typical of the sort of stuff you will see uh, in rural Australia on the road trains and all that sort of stuff out there. So uh, yeah, very good. All right. So we have the road train obviously on all ours because we don't run just one trailer. We always run at least two to three, four, five or six. All right, <clears throat> wheels, wheel set up. So we have the standard and we have the spider wheels, okay? As we've seen in the T600 and we'll also see on the trailers, we've seen on the cattle trailers, we've seen on the flatbeds. Fantastic addition. I really do love the spiders. Draw bars. Now, this is what we need to show. Uh, there's some significant difference in here. Now, this will affect the way your trailers react and operate. Now, we have short one. So it's a nice short draw bar here. Obviously, that means that the trailing trailer off this dolly will be a lot closer to the preceding trailer. We then have short two, <clears throat> so it's got the V-angled trailer hitch, okay, just a different look. Uh, aesthetically or lengthwise, it doesn't provide any difference. And then we have the long one and long two. So these are actually almost probably double the length uh, and give that little bit more space. So I would certainly recommend for the tip over axle um, trailers that this is probably the one you want to use, but 
I mean, you may have a different preference. And then long two, again, is the V-shaped one there. All right. So that's what you have. Now you have exactly the same configurations for the duo dolly as what you have for the tri dolly. So those options are available in both. All right. So that's the dollies organized. And lastly, we're going to go and have a look at the main part of this, this course. This is the entrees. Now we're going to look at the main part, and that is these wonderful trailers. Right. Okay. So here we go, the trailers, the Lusty Tip-Over Axle Tipper, the Lusty Chassis End Tipper, and the Lusty End Tipper A-Trailer. So we have our typical A-Trailer. The A-Trailer carries 40,000 litres. Um, its uh, standard configuration is a tri-axle. Uh, it has a fifth wheel at the back to attach either another A-Trailer or your Tip-Over Axle Tipper or your End Tipper. Now, the difference between these two tippers here is this one's tip over axle, which we'll show later, and this is just a standard end tipper. Uh, we'll show the difference between those later, but it is fantastic we've got this tip over axle tipper here. I don't think I've seen one of them in game as yet at all. Right. So, as you can see, all three trailers carry pretty much everything you could possibly dream of. Okay. And obviously, if you wish to custom crops, you can go in and mod yourself, all that sort of stuff. Right. Let's have a look at the detail of the trailer. So, uh, fifty-three thousand dollars is fifty-two thousand five hundred is the stock price with five hundred dollars uh, the options on this for some reason. Um, main color, main color is actually the chassis color. So if we want to have a black chassis, for instance, and a black cover, we'll select that. And then the design color is the actual sides. Um, so we may want to go green, and there we go, tickety boo. Okay, nice and simple. Right now, graphics again. There's files in the actual mod directory that actually enable you, and he's, he's, they've done very good. They've given a basic template for a decal um, to apply your own graphics to these. So all we're going to do is go in and edit the graphics, put them on there. He's actually labeled them nice. It's fantastic. So you have the ability to, to label these up, and I'm going to do that certainly for my own trailers. But that's what the graphics are, and you've got the ability to put two different graphics in there. Uh, no, one for the trailer, sorry. The, for the truck, there was two. I didn't cover that, but I should have. Anyway, we'll set up, again, standard and the spiders. And again, uh, the spiders will take the color from the main color. So if I go pink, there we go. Like that. And if I went to the blue, there's the blue. That. Okay. If I go to standard, you just get a standard chrome rim. Okay. All right, but anyway, yeah, so 40,000 litres for the A trailer. All right, let's have a look at the N tipper. N tipper has a capacity of 60,000 litres. It has a cost price of $73,000. Uh, initial leasing cost of $3,723. Okay, similarly, it's got exactly the same options as what the A trailer has. Same colour, same design colour. It does the same things in here. The difference with these is you have the graphics, so you have none or... So you have two graphics for this one. Sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong one. And then design, you have road train signs. So you have the road train signs there. Okay, so either blank or road train. So if you're doing like a European map and you don't want the road train signs, you don't have to have them. Okay? But you will have the Western Australian license plate. Uh, color guards and obviously are the spider rims as well. Okay, all right. So that is the Lusty Chassis End Tipper. Now this is an end tipper only, so it will lift the tipper up. Uh, remaining with the chassis on the ground as normal. Now, the reason I say that, this is a tip over axle tipper. Now, the difference with this one is, is the entire axle assembly and chassis tips. And we'll show you that when we actually go and do a tipping demonstration. But exactly the same options available here. It's $73,000 to buy, 3723 to lease. It also has a 60,000 litre capacity. So between an A trailer and a B trailer, whether it be the axle tipper or the end tipper, you're going to have a total capacity of 100,000 for an A and a B configuration. Obviously, you can have an AB configuration, you have an AB double configuration, you can have an AAB, have all these configurations that are available to you. Uh, and you can do whatever you like because whatever you want to do is fine. All right, same thing with this one. We have the road train signs and all that. But obviously, one of the things, just look at all the detail in here, right? Just the the general detail on the trailer is fantastic. Now, these side lights here do turn on when you turn on the truck lights as well. Um, 
just a fantastic looking mod. It really is. All right, so that's them. Let's go and have a look at them uh, out in the real world. Okay, so here we have three various configurations of our trailers and our trucks. This first one here, we've just got the A trailer and a B trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the tipping on both of these just to show you what it looks like. So both of these are now going to tip. And as you can see, they tip nicely while they're hitched together. There's no clashing. There's no uh, problems with them, with the configuration of it. They're all fantastic. Now, the other thing I had noticed with these, uh, a little bit of a bug, maybe whatever. Sometimes it, does, it tends to not empty the load fully before it actually drops the tipper down. So you may need to actually tip it twice. Um, now, whether that's due to the speed of the actual tip rate, or what, I'm not so sure. I haven't looked into that. I'd just be aware that, that may be an issue. But there's uh, there's a nice little A B configuration. Doesn't that look great? All right, I'm going to lower them back down again. All right, and we're going to move this truck just out of the way a little bit. Then we'll move on to our second configuration. All right, so here's another configuration here. So we've got two of our, I think these are the normal actual, uh, these are the end tippers. So let's just uh, tip them and see what happens. Okay, so you have it. So it's just basically two of the end tippers. And as you can see, this has got the... Um, so the other one over there didn't have the dolly. This one here has a long neck dolly um, in between the two trailers. So this is connected with two end trailers and a dolly. And as I said before, the configurations of these are fully flexible. You can do what you like with it. All right. Get this one out of the way. So we'll get this next configuration. And then uh, we'll bring a couple of dollies out of the store and just have a look at how they look. All right, so this last configuration, we've got an A trailer, and then we've got a B trailer. We've got a dolly, or a tri dolly, and then we've got an A and a B again. So this is a dual A B configuration. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got on this one. Okay, now, as you can see, this last trailer here, it's a tip-over axle. As you can see, it lifts up the chassis and tips the chassis directly. So it's a different type of configuration, and uh, it's nice to have that option available to us in the game. So congratulations to JFL for bringing that one to us as well. All right, and that's basically it. That is those. So let's go over and have a look at the dollies. Okay, so here we have all the dollies in their various configurations out here at the shop so you can actually see them. So we have the tri dollies here. So the first one, as you can see here, this all red one is the short, um, short hitch, uh, colored mud guards, uh, all stock standard there. Uh, it hasn't got the road train size. The second one there is the chrome mud guards with the second short hitch with the road train signs. The next one is the um, long hitch one with the road train signs, then the long hitch two, which is the ivory colored one. And then we have the duo dollies there with the colored guards, chrome guards, rubber guards with the road train signs in both the long neck configurations. That's the mod review over and done with for the Australian road train pack. Well, that's what I'm calling it, comprising the Kenworth T600 day cab the Graham Lusty Lusty Tipper Pack, and the Arends Dollies, all available from JFL Modding's Facebook page. Link is down below. Go check it out. Leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to leave a like down below and a comment. And if you have any questions in relation to the mod, please feel free to let me know. And apart from that, have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later at Duck Story Gaming.